I want you to look down in your Bibles at James chapter 4 and verse number 13. The Bible reads, Go to now ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city, and continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. And the, the first point I want to make on this passage right here is that the Bible is referring to our lives as just being like a vapor, just a little puff of smoke, right? Just, a, just It's here for a very brief period of time. And the older you get, the more you realize how fast time really does fly. And just day after day, time just continues to seem, and you know, in, in my years of life, it seems like when you're younger, you feel like you've got all the time in the world. You've just got nothing but time. I mean, you could just do whatever, and this is your perception of how things go. But the older you get, you realize, man, there is not enough time in the day. I need to get more things done. There's so many things I want to do. There's so much I want to accomplish, and there's just not enough time to do it. Your time is precious. And you know what? Time goes by at the same speed, no matter how old or young you are. It's just your perception and how you view things. We need to be able to view the time. And the Bible saying here, our life. I mean, whatever your lifespan is, your average lifespan, it's just like a vapor. It appeareth for a short time and then it vanishes away. It's gone. Uh, we're not here for very long. And this is implicating, hey, let's make use of the time that we have here because we're not here for very long. Let's try to make the best use of our time and not just waste it. So if you do end up in a situation where you can look back on your life, where you know, maybe you live a full life and you grow to be an old man or an old woman and you can look back on your life, you're not thinking, why did I spend so much time doing this and doing that and you know, going to movies and doing stupid stuff that I have nothing to show for it now? All this time I had and it was just invested in vanity, in just wastefulness and doing nothing. We ought to be able to look back on our life and say, hey, I accomplished this and I accomplished that. And I led people to the Lord and I served the Lord. You know, I, did, I did good things. So you can look back and say, I actually completed something and did something with my life and my life had value. It's easy to get distracted and to get caught up in the things of this world and to just go off and do other things. But you know what? The things that this world has to offer are vanity. They hold no eternal value. And one of the other lessons that we can learn from James 4 here real, real briefly is that, you know, in the context, he's not as much focused on your life being a vapor, but he's, you know, the greater teaching here is he's, he's talking to people who are saying, oh yeah, today or tomorrow, we're going to go to city, we're going to continue, you know, and just kind of bragging as if they had already done these things before they even doing, doing them. And assuming that they have the time to do them. We say, well, no, if the Lord will, we're going to go and do this stuff. And we need to have, we'll let this sink in, right? Is that don't put off service to the Lord, especially like, like younger kids. Like, oh, I've got my whole life. You know, I'm going to go and do this now and I'm going to do that and I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do all these things. And then later on, I'm going to get serious. Later on, I'm going to go and do soul winning. Later on, I'm going to do things that matter and are meaningful. But right now, I just want to just, just not do anything and just think about myself. And that's a bad attitude to have for many reasons, but one of them we see here is that you don't know, you know, what shall be on the morrow. You don't know what the next day is going to bring. People die at all ages. People breathe their last breath. Accidents, tragedies happen all the time. From the womb all the way up to, to you know, an, an aged person. You never know. People are losing their lives every day in their various ages. So you can't just assume just because things may, and you, know, you may be healthy, you may have everything going for you right now, no problems whatsoever. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know if some crazy person driving on the road is going to slam into you head on and then you're, you're gone. Or you die of a heart attack or whatever. It happens. 